special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Riptide, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulace that I, Ways UK Mod. So I am underneath the Horde base of here, uh, still above the bunker, filling in all the concrete. I just used up all the concrete blocks we did have downstairs, and I think the benches up here are making more. So I want to fill in this whole middle of here so the zombies don't want to dig to my ladder. And then as soon as that's done, we have to take all this out and just... I'm actually now regretting the fact that I didn't go and put just these frame shapes, or but of concrete inside. If zombies dig in, you can actually see through the floor and shoot them in the face. Although zombies will also be able to uh, vomit up at you, so it might also be bad. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, let's just fill up with the shapes we do have. I don't want to make too many shapes right now, because I don't think we can need that much more concrete. Because I, I'm afraid that if I make, like, say, 200 more blocks, I could have used that concrete to upgrade the cobble that we have all throughout the base, instead of just making solid blocks. If I can have this whole... Th this, this is definitely going to be filled in, because, I mean, look at all the resources. This is all going to be filled in before the horde. I think I just missed the block. And then, yeah, during horde nights, as long as the poles last, we just need steel right now. So I'm hoping when the trader opens up, he actually has some steel for us. Um, I think before then, let's go for the one treasure on the map. We still need 8, 16, 24, plus 3, that's 27. 27 blocks. Boom. Okay, the rest of this concrete we're going to keep over here. This will keep as a way to get in and out of places easily. Screen's going to turn off again soon. Uh, okay, I need to go and drive to this treasure and then you can follow me. I just picked this drone up because it kept getting in my way during night time. Startup yeah, so we need activated. one more blood bag. We need one more potato. If the trader actually has it, that's awesome. And then we need to go for that treasure all the way over there. I think I'll cut back if something interesting happens, but these boring drives, I want to see if I can't cut out. Guys, I am sitting here thinking of something cool I could do right now. This is going to be dumb, but let's do this. This is going to cause some lag as well because this stuff is going to cave in and there's vultures and everything. But I want to see how many zombies spawn in if we do this. This floor should all cave in right now. Because this is all, this is fake floor. Everything over here is going to cave in and then I want to see how many vultures and stuff following us right now. Oh, not everything's fake, just some of it. Okay, there's flyer vault, fire vultures, normal vultures. I should actually be able to... Oh, okay, now there's more vultures all of a sudden. But just the zombies especially, that's going to be a problem. Oh, don't infect me again, don't infect me again, don't infect me again. Drive, 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 drive. We just got over one infection. So that might have been dumb just now. I really don't want another vulture infection or bird flu. Also, as we're driving, I want to see if we can't come across, like, a potato farm or something. There has to be one farm close by, right? If we can get a potato farm right now, we'll be able to go and just finish this one farmer class. And then I need to get one more blood bag for the medic class. The sooner we finish that, the sooner we'll be able to get, like, the, the first aid kits. Oh, I'm so tempted for this right now. I think I'm going to do it. The police station I haven't seen in a few alphas, so it might actually be fun. Looting it. I need to be careful. I'm almost out of rounds. And yep, gun broke. I was about to say, I need to be careful that the gun doesn't break. And then it goes ahead and breaks. Ooh, goes ahead and breaks. And now, this attack. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Couldn't throw just now. What the hell? If you throw the spear, it doesn't set amount of damage. But if you miss, it's really, really bad if you miss. Okay, so this we need to repair. Guys, we need a better shotgun. Ooh, that's something. If the trader has a shotgun, I'm going to buy it. We really, really, really need a new shotgun right now. Imagine there's a massive monster just next to us and we can't open this up right now. I have an infinite amount of... Well, not infinite. I have like 70 plus lockpicks right now. But I don't ma mind doing this manual lockpicking right now. I don't want to wake up this whole building. And I know if I use a breaching round, it's definitely going to wake up everything. But I wonder if this is part of the police station, because everything looks connected. It might be part of the old bug where some buildings spawned inside buildings. As the previous alphas, when the buildings were still not really all that thought out, you'd literally have one building cut straight through another, taking up all that space. Okay, some zombies just woke up. Okay, 
Okay, what are you? Just a biker. I never know if they're gonna be irradiated or because this dude looks actually badass with all the blood and stuff. See, this police station, yeah, that went to the right. This whole thing is one station right now. That's that's a massive change. This used to be on its own, this police station to the right. I wonder if it's no, I, th I think I might be thinking of a different one. It just looks very similar. I wanna check this out. If there's a guppy or something, we're gonna have to book it. I just woke up all the zombies, so that's fine. As long as I have my trusty, trusty spear over here, I can bleed them. Oh, this door being boarded up looks so awesome. Look at that, that actually looks like a, a door that's been tried to uh, be boarded up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I also did, I got the better of them. I was like, you know what, I need to check this out. This might be the police station I know, but it doesn't seem like it. You make sure that we don't get stuck in this room. Why is the drone constantly in front of us for some reason? Every time I see the drones... Oh, okay, floors are caving in, secret floors and stuff. But every time I look up... Be careful what's happening right now. What is happening right now? Oh, there's a ton of zombies over here now. Okay, not all of them died, but I did some damage. I should have actually thrown a little bit harder. Oh crap. Hello, don't break anything. I hate this bow, he's always feral. That's mostly just him. Not everyone's feral, but he's always, always, always feral. Oh, no, spear back! Give it back! Imagine he's holding onto the spear so his friends can survive. That's be kind of, that would be kind of cool. But this place is so full of zombies, damn. I need to check for schematics right now because we need the auger schematic, we need the chainsaw schematic. We need so much stuff. We should be able to get them through over here. Uh, oh, there's gonna be more coffee. Probably not turn my back with zombies right there. Crap. Did I get the cop just now? Nope, did not get the cop. I could easily just use an explosive bolt to kill him. Come on, come on, come on, don't reload now. Oh, he almost exploded. I want the loot. Oh, sandwiches. Yeah, we need sandwiches. I need to check dustbins and, uh, uh, what do you call it? We call it black bags. It's, uh, dumpster bags. <laughs> we need to check that stuff for more bread. For more food and stuff right now. I need five more of this, I think. Ooh. Hammer pile. Nice. I just, I just saw this corner sticking out just now. This place looks kind of awesome. Be careful of vultures. My HP isn't all the way full, so we will take some serious damage. If we can stealth most of the zombies, that's awesome because I want to save my ammo. Like the shotgun ammo for like the tougher zombies. The ones I know is going to actually quite require it. The zombie stuck at the back over there, but we can't see it right now. What are you? Ooh, okay, you didn't wake up. Nice. Oh crap. The, the bad thing is sometimes just the firing mechanism of this uh, crossbow is enough to wake zombies up. You need to be careful just now I hear that barking sound of a dog beside me. On my arrow back. It's not gonna give it to me. Master, we are not alone. Oh, these, these are just iron bolts, but I'm doing way more damage all of a sudden. I'm kind of feeling like blowing him up with that um, barrel over there, but that might have some gas for us. The more we can loot, and we don't have to worry about getting our own stuff, the better. Damn, if I can stealth most of these zombies, that'd be awesome. There's a cop or something standing back there, it seems. Can't hit it from over here. I, that might be a cop, or it might just be a normal zombie. I hope, 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 hope it's not a cop. See, now the bolts are all going to fall, so I need to clear this place fast, so the bolts that fall uh, out of the zombies when they despawn, don't disappear on me. That looks like a big cop or something standing right there. I'm hitting that box in the middle. There you go. 
If there's a dog, we're gonna have to jump out the window right now. My uh, fear is just that when I kill one of these and I have to reload, all of a sudden the dog attacks while, I re uh, while I'm reloading, then I'm too slow to respond. I want to see what is this. Uh, damn it, John. Oh, that was I've just Cobble. That was just Cobble. I thought it was a zombie or something. I want to make sure we pick up all of our bolts so we don't run out. It's way too easy to run out of bolts right now. Okay, so resources, we definitely need all of this stuff. I mean, at the moment we do have a base, but if we want to expand on the base at all, or just make more concrete mechs or whatever because the base took some damage, we're going to need all of this. I don't know if we need the... Crap polymers in this mod like we do in Darkest Falls. And in Darkest Falls you need to make coil ammo and stuff out of scrap polymers. I'm just grabbing it just in case we need it, but it is also very tedious doing this. If this was Undead Legacy, I'd have to first clear the whole place out because I might get too encumbered and wouldn't be able to pick stuff up right now. I'm hoping- yeah, another sandwich, yes! I'm hoping we get way more sandwiches or we find a kitchen with a toaster. It's actually nice how fast you can get the items if you actually focus on getting the items. Because I've been so focused on building and just doing some quests, we don't really get to all the POIs. And there's some really cool POIs in the game. There's a hole right there, there might be something underneath. It's a shame we don't have a smaller pick that's a little bit faster and does, still does a one-shot damage, but that's a little bit faster at least. But I feel like this is a little bit slow, just a teeny weensy little bit. If we could get all the sandwiches I was looking for just from this POI, then that alone would make this worth it. But this POI is way bigger than it looks because there's a side to this thing that, uh, that we haven't even touched yet. That's kind of scary, this place is still massive. And there might be a ton of wondering, uh, well, there might be a wondering what coming through. This sucks. My senses have picked up something. I need to kill this one without waking up the rest. Sometimes these zombies, do you guys see how he just moved? He was definitely faster than his friends. I always complain about the position of the uh, drone, but this time around, seriously. Every time you look, the drone is literally right in front of your face. And especially with melee, you can't hit a zombie if the drone's in your way, you just can't. Because it's made in such a way that you can't do damage to your own... Uh, to your own drone. So if the drone flies in front of your face, you're trying to hit a zombie behind it, it just says, oh, you want to hit your own drone. No, thank you. That doesn't that doesn't work that way. You be careful. I'm hearing a ton of footsteps and stuff outside, but I don't know if that zombie's coming to us right now, or if there's just zombies walking around in the vicinity. I don't even know if zombies can make it to where we are right now. Oh, crap. Destroyed the wrong one. We need to make sure we destroy it, or we loot it, and then destroy it. See, that's the final stash room. If it wasn't for all the loot over here we might stand to gain, I'd actually throw in an explosive or two over there. That goes up, we fall down on them. It looks like that's a cave in floor, that is seriously messed up. Come on. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Okay, if you're just gonna sit there, I'm gonna take this opportunity, thank you. It feels like we're gonna fall right on top of those cops. I don't know if there's a hole on the other side, perhaps if we can ma make it through. Are you not gonna jump over? What is wrong with you guys? Why don't you wanna jump over? Did the dude downstairs wake up or the, another one upstairs? Okay, hello. That answers my question. I'm getting my arrows back while I'm shooting them. This might be a really cool defense if you could actually uh, utilize this. It's a corpse. Yeah, that was a corpse. Why did I fire that shot just now? You need to be careful because there's going to be a ton of zombies coming through right now. 
I've actually been held up, so I should be able to destroy the bottom one first. Then the top one, so I can grab my weapon. Doom. Come on, be careful, be careful, be careful. I don't know where this place leads, and that, that top room we just saw is definitely in the final room. I, I just don't want to fall through the floor. It looks like it's really easy pulling through the floor over there. I'm hoping there's a door and it's not a cave in the floor. Guys, it's the worst feeling ever to fall into a room full of like tough zombies. Especially if we uh, like for example with our guns and stuff, I'm gonna have to jump around like a bunny. Just trying to make sure they don't hit me, and even then they can seriously do some serious damage. I should probably grab all the stuff after I clear this place, right? Although this place is so big, I don't wanna go farthing through the whole thing again. I'll rather clear it once while we yearn and then we can go from there. It does seem like you fall down. Okay, uh, we'll definitely take this. I'm hoping the zombies underneath don't wake up until I get closer. Because if they wake up right now, they're going to start doing damage to all the stuff down there to get to me. Come on, sandwiches. You can actually hear them sleeping down there. At least we're not going to run out of stamina anytime soon. But I've noticed, even in Darkest Falls, the shovels don't take as much stamina as like the picks and stuff. I'm busy mining- ooh, hello. I'm busy mining, for example. Um, I run out of stamina because I'm using my pick. I use my shovel and I actually Master, get stamina back. Did I set the zombies to jog or something? Because it really feels like the zombies are faster. There is a hatch leading down, it seems. That's probably after you fall in. I have some explosive bolts over here that I want to use on them. If I can actually manage to fire open explosive bolts, just all the grenade. Because the grenade doesn't do block damage, it only does entity damage. Um, oh, that's not a hatch, is it? That looked like a hatch from this angle. Okay, so if I fall down there, we're going to be with all those tough zombies. If I do this, perhaps... Oh wow, that almost killed me. Okay, now the vultures are going to kill me, be careful. Where are all these zombies now going? It looks like they might have a, a way to path around to me and that's going to be- that's going to suck. Yeah, I need to heal myself as well, as soon as possible right now. Okay, they definitely went outside, but if I- if they come inside somehow behind me, that's going to suck. Oh crap. Yep, they definitely did. They definitely did. They definitely did. Where did they come from? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, where are they going? Where are they coming from? They fall on my head over here. I'm gonna have a problem with the full head over here. If I can just place a frame or two down there in that room, we might get to safety. There's a ladder going up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where did you guys come from just now? Oh, there's a hole right there. Okay, cool. Okay, more stuff just fell. More tougher stuff. Wait, is this whole wall fake? No, they're coming from this side. I just saw that. I just saw that. I just saw that. Hello. Seems like they're falling down. Oh no, they're coming from over here. Yeah, I need to be careful right now. If I get stuck, it seems there's an upstairs as well. So there are more zombies can come from over here, or they can actually now. Ooh, they can actually block me if I'm not careful. Come on, give me stuff, give me stuff, give me stuff, give me stuff. I want to go to the downstairs room because there might be some awesome stuff there. The amount of zombies now awake over here is actually kind of scary. I believe I shouldn't just go into that room. I just heard another cop. My senses have picked up something. Where the hell's that cop though? It saw me. Seriously though, where oh there they are. Inside that room over there. If I do this. 
I should have killed most of them. That, that leads to another side of the building that I haven't even been yet. The fat dude that doesn't know where I am, I should probably go down. This is really dangerous, but I'm crouching right now to make sure we actually get him over here. See, this is the building next door, but it's part of the police station still. I should probably be way more careful. Although, if I could get to the kitchen area, that might actually help us, because we do need sandwiches. If I can get a toaster... I don't see any toasters over here. I think the final stash and everything is inside of here. No. I just looked like it because there was a ton of zombies standing around this stuff. But where... If this is not the final stash... Then how... One, where is the final stash? And two, how big is the final stash going to be? Damn. I wanted to go for the treasure and then to the trader, but now I'm actually having fun of here. <laughs> Technically, we should probably loot this whole place while we're here. I That's all going to be a little bit dangerous. We need to arrange this. We don't really have that many resources, and since I don't really want to use my forge right now, the easiest way is going to be just doing that. Also, need to be careful. Zombies might now go and fall on our heads over here. I hear a ton of zombies from outside, and we still don't know how big this POI is. I need to be careful, there might be pockets like this one that's just as busy or just as dangerous. And now I'm running over here without any protection. If we can just get the CNC schematics for those guns and make ourselves some HD guns, oh man, that would be awesome. Come on, give me a sandwich, give me a sandwich. Okay, that's where we were in the beginning. Okay, this is one room. There's a rooftop. Ooh, we need all the electrical and mechanical parts we can get. If I can get to the roof. Where is the roof? Okay, I need to be careful now. This whole floor might be full. If there's a infernal dog or guppy dog or something in here, we have a problem. You can see there's a police station. There's so many cops. This is definitely a police station. And there's vultures. Yippee. I am so happy. You guys can hear from the sound of my voice. I swear the vultures are in here somewhere. I'm going to freak. I really don't want to get that infection again. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Well, I need to be careful of a wandering ward. If I'm stuck in this POI, the zombies parting better than our parting. So they know which way to go. We don't know. Or oh, I don't want to get the cap. Thank you. Bollock rots. Basically, her the herpes virus. The nurse mustn't hit us, the hooker mustn't hit us, and the vulture mustn't hit us. Hello? I don't know what other viruses there are, so I need to actually check. It might be even worse ones. Okay, airdrop. Nice, nice, nice. We need to go for that drop. I'm just looking for a sandwich. If we can find those last few sandwiches without having to go into your pure eye, that would be awesome. At least we're getting a ton of oil and stuff, but we're not really going to need that right now. You be careful. If this vulture gets in, we have a problem. This vulture is right here by the window, so technically... I just have to do this. There you go. The problem now is, do I, do I have chance going out on this balcony over here? Where there might be more vultures? I'm going to save my bandages in case we really need it. Let me just get my shotgun at the ready. I've used so many shotgun shells already just now, it's insane. Oh, this is cool. What a weird poor thing to follow. Oh, there's a wolf down there. Meat. Oh, we were just here. Okay, then how do we get to the roof section? Do we just keep... No, we can't. We can't keep going up. There has to be another way to the roof that I'm not seeing right now. I think if I could just, just get all of those um, air conditioners and stuff, it's going to help us tremendously. I'm going all the way back down now. I think there might be a ladder on the back. Let's go check. I just need one ladder so we can get to the roof, so we can get all those... Um, hello. Air conditioners. We do need like 100 electrical parts and 100 mechanical parts or something like that. Let me go this way. There's a small doggy over there, but I don't trust those dogs. Okay, so we came in over here. But we never went for this building to the left. 
Is it one and the same? No, it's definitely a POI next to a POI, right? Is that Vulture? Yeah, that's alive. Do not want to take any chances, thank you. I wonder if this police station actually has a final stash. They look like exactly the same building. I'm just afraid of taking a chance and actually dying up there, so let's do this. Hopefully this corner is actually attached to the floor and can handle all this weight. See more vultures. As long as there's no infernal dogs up here, I can just quickly get myself the final stash or whatever might be up here. And the, the air conditioners, we definitely need the air conditioners. It looks like it's a, a police station next to an office building. Or it might be like the police station HQ or something. Come on. See, I'm, I'm adjusting for the drop, but there's no real drop. I'm just so afraid of dogs, that's why I don't want to get too close to stuff. Normal zombie dogs, even the big ones, I don't mind, but it's the guppy ones. The infernal dogs that I really worry about. No other vultures, right? No other zombies, they might be up there. So, I want to I wanna see, is the final stash connected for both buildings? It might be that the final stash of this place is on top of that place over there. And then also we need to make sure that we wrench every single one of these we come across. It's time consuming, but we definitely need all this stuff. Yeah, we still need to go for the airdrop. Now that I just heard this, I've, I've thought of the plane. I'm just so glad these vultures are so dumb. I made so much noise just jumping that and it didn't hear me at all. There's more cops, more dogs. You can actually see... Uh, oh, I said dogs. <laughs> more cops and more vultures. You can see this is the police station. The amount of cops this place has. Damn. Okay, I wonder if I'll be able to kill the cop without alerting his friend. Although I don't think you can actually kill the cop one shot because they, they're just too big. Oh, you can. Nice. Okay, so I take that back. You can. Now, I want to see how these two buildings are connected. What are they exactly? Oh, from what I thought it was a vulture next to this thing over here. Okay, so this these two do look connected. There's a hole over there. I should probably check on the roof and see if there's something there. Oh, no, it's the final stash might be down below. That's a problem with these big, big, big POIs. You never know which way to go, up or down. Imagine you can use a crossbow. Oh, the vultures first have to... Uh, Oh, the metro. Oh, there's some really good loot down below in the metro. And even these towers might have some munitions chests. But yeah, um, I wonder if we can actually get those zombies to spawn in. But we, as soon as we get to this building, they're going to despawn. Imagine seeing a th uh, shooting a an explosive bolt and hitting them over there. This leads up. I've got a bad feeling about Hello. this. Hello. Yeah. Are you going to come down the ladder? Okay, what are you? Just an infected biker. If I can do one-shot kills over here. Okay, there's two zombies. Oh, there's another bike. Oh, ferals as well. We do have an explosive over here for those big boys because they're all big. Six shots there, John. Six shots left. Yep. Ooh, John, you are surviving, dude. You're a survival. Kind of am right now. I'm surprised that I'm still alive. If I didn't jump for that ladder just now, I would have been dead. Okay, if we do this, this. Oh, it's a shame we can't close that door. Now the zombies can actually make it up there to us. You be careful. Left, right, ladder over here. They're definitely trying to make it up, so that's bad for us. If they break our legs right now. Master, we are not alone. It's locked, so we can't even close it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
I think there's some zombies trying to get out of one of the rooms over there. I'm trying to be so careful right now. There's a ton of zombies in this PR, I can tell. But it seems you can't go up any further over here, we have to go over here. Oh, this is the jailer house. They're all upstairs. No, they're not. They're all downstairs. What the hell? Uh, where's that explosive? I want to see if I can't open up this floor for them over here. If we can actually make a hole over here, then we can actually just throw one grenade down or an explosive bolt or something. But I need to be careful not to run out of stamina right now and also be careful that no bosses and stuff I see up from the side right now. Stamina so low. Come on, heal yourself, John. Uh, do you have... Where's all my first aid kits? The proper ones. I'm 89. That's going to be a waste to use right now. Now they're breaking this one. I should have just helped them break that one then. I'm just hoping they don't pop in behind me or beside me as I'm doing this now. How many zombies are down there? My senses have picked up something. It's like they're in a jail cell underneath us or something. That might be it. Now what I can do... You throw in one like this. Use the bolt. And then it's gonna set off the grenade. Boom, dead. I wanna go down to check, but just now... Oh, it's one of these pockets. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. It was up your eye in Darkest Falls always, like a final boss level. that had so many demons inside. It was insane. And it's basically like that. We're in the walls, in the roof, everywhere. There's just zombies hidden. Guys, if we actually go for all the pipes and stuff in this place, do you know how much we can actually get? Damn. There are so many beds over here. We'll be able to get a nice amount of pipes and stuff. If I remember that, I thought it was a zombie laying upstairs. Every time I see blue like that, I think, oh, zombie. Oh, hello. We should probably close some doors behind us just in case something follows us. There's a cop. Okay, either a cop or a fat dude following us right now. We need to get all of these for some sandwiches. We can't even close the door that bad. Yeah, I think this is the safest spot as any to just uh, call it quits for now. We're going to finish clearing this place next time, guys. And then we have to go for the treasure map. And we have to go for the drop. Which is somewhere on the map over here. I think it's very close because I can't see it in the gray. So it has to be in one of these areas over here. So yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comment, tips, feedback, give them a low. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we hopefully don't die. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.